hello in this video tutorial i am going to teach you how you can stream a video live on facebook using vmx software how to stream a video live on facebook using vmx software before you can stream the video live on facebook first of all you need to open your vmx software so as it has been indicated over here this is my vmx software so you double click on it and you wait for some few seconds for the software to open before you can proceed all right so this is the interface of our vmx software so first of all you have to bring in the video that you want to stream into the vmx software so i have to search through my files and then look for the video that i want to stream using the vmx software so follow me as i search for the video all right so streaming all right so this is a sermon by brother ben also is yama be grateful it's a sermon so you have to select that video you want to stream and then you drag it you drag it into the vmx software when it appears like this then you drop it in to the vmx software so you can see the video has been imported into our vmx software and the vmx this portion is called the preview session and this session is also called the live session this is preview and this is live so since we have inserted our video you have to proceed and then do the settings to get your facebook live streaming keys if you have an intro video that you want to play it before you start your main streaming you have to go to your files and then search for that intro video so follow me i am going to search for that intro video so you have to have to go to where your intro video is located so this is live from antwerp and it is my intro video so i would highlight this short video and then pull it into the vmx software and then you drop in it like this as you can see we have two video files in our vmx software the first one is the main video that i want to premiere and the second one is an intro video which means this short or intro video would come before my main video to be premiered this short video will come first before my main video would follow so in this case you have to select this you have to select the intro video as i have already stated this session is called the preview session and this is called the live session so you have to click on it you have to click on the intro video and then before it can go into the live screen you have to use this transition this is called cuts this is fade this is merge this is swipe and this is crop zoom so it depends on you on the type of transition you would like to use all right so as i have already stated this is the preview session and this is the live session so in case you want to stream this main video you have to just click on it if you want to premiere the intro video first you have to click on it and then you choose any of these transitions and that will help you to enter the live screen session so you click it will appear here you click it will appear here so i'm going to premiere a sermon by brother siama so in this case i am going to use any of these transitions and then it will go live so you click on merge you have cut fade merge wipe crop zoom so i would prefer to use the merge one so once i click merge it will enter into the live session live from antwerp this is church of christ tv so in case you want to repeat your intro video you just have to click on restart you click on restart and then you click on play all right 
so this is the intro video all right so since we are done with this session we have to proceed and then do the facebook live streaming settings so you can see some options over here we have add input record external stream multi-coder playlist since we are going to do facebook live we have to choose the stream option so you click on the settings over here and then you will see this as it has been depicted here and then there are three options here the first one is for facebook it's a default setting it's a default setting the first one is for facebook the second one is for youtube and then the third one you can choose whichever app you want to do it like this so this destination and the url and then this stream name or key so when you are done with this you have to open your browser and then you go to facebook and then you select the facebook page you want to do the live streaming on it so you open your browser and then you click on facebook when it appears like this then you have to choose the facebook page you want to do the streaming on it in this case i am going to do the streaming on church of christ tv so i'll click on church of christ tv and then i'll wait for it to pop up and then you click live since we are going to have a facebook live so you have to click on live and then you click live like this and then you have a go live session here and then create live event but we are going to do a facebook live so you just click on select when you click on select we have webcam and then streaming software since we are premiering our video in a Vimex software, you have to click on streaming software. So you choose the streaming software. And then there are some options here that you need to input before you proceed. So the first one says uh, connect video source. You have to click on it and that will choose our streaming software. The second one is complete post details. So you click on it and then you input your title and then your description for the facebook live that you are doing so click on it and then the title is a uh, voice of the church voice of the so voice of the church and then the description you have to type the message title and then the name of the speaker so message title so message title is b e grateful so be grateful be grateful as the message title and then the speaker and then the speaker is brother dr hc then osu isyama then after this you have to click on save and then you go back to your streaming software So after doing this, you have to come back to your Vimex. There is something that I want to show you in the settings. This URL and then the stream name or key is what we are going to use to do our Facebook Live. So we have the stream key over here. But you have to click on advanced settings before you can get your server URL. So you click on it and then there is the server URL server url so click on copy so i've copied it and i'll go back into my vmix software and i'll highlight this and then paste what i've copied from my facebook live paste it here like this and then go back to my facebook live settings and then copy this stream key so you click on copy and then go back like this and then you highlight the stream key over here and then you paste what you've copied after that click on stats stats that's stats one so click on stats one so i've clicked it when you click on stats one there will be a pop-up here there will be a pop-up here which means you are done with the settings so let's go into the Vimex software exactly what has what has been shown here has appeared in our facebook live settings so the final thing that you have to do is to click on go live when you click on go live then you are good to go so i will click on go live 
like this then you wait for it to appear before you click on it so as as it has been depicted i am live on facebook i am live on facebook so you go back into your dynamic software and then you click starts you click into the live video session and then you press play <laughs> Yeah, so live from Antwerp, this is Church of Christ TV. So what I play three times is my intro video. I am now going to premiere the main video that I purposely recording this video for. Follow me clearly as I start the main Facebook live streaming in this video tutorial. So restart. I'm going to I'm going to show you something. So you click on it like this. And then you choose any of these transitions. Before you can premiere the video, you have to make sure the preview is filled with the video that you want to premiere and then you click on any of these so one more time click Alright, so this is how to do a Facebook live streaming using Vemix software. So, this is almost 55 minutes audio recording, but it has been converted to a video. So, I have to teach you how you can bring your Facebook live streaming to an end. So, this is a long audio. You cannot play all of them in this video tutorial. So, just for some few seconds. So, after the Facebook live streaming, and then you select your intro video again and make sure it is starting. It shouldn't be here. Make sure it's be at its initial state. So you click on it and then click on merge. So I am done with my Facebook live streaming. When you finish, you have to click on the stream settings and then you click on stop and then stop will end what you have premiered. So click on next and then you are good to go. After that, you click on save and close. Alright, so this brings us to the end of this video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. See you some other time.